Welcome viewer to Iron Sharp as Iron and I'm literally going to say the exact same thing in about a minute but wanted to address the situation that's going to transpire through this video. I am having troubles with my camera, it's being trashed, the screen doesn't work. Then my SD card stopped working. It recorded everything that I'm saying but then when I try to upload it uh, to my computer and edit the video. Now it's not registering. It's not showing any of the content that I recorded on my camera, but you will get the angle of me talking from this direction. So for the remainder of the video, um, the parts where I'm talking <laughs> in front, um, it's going to look like I'm not looking at the cameras because I was looking at the camera, but that camera decided to hit me with the okie doke. But I believe that the content, the message, I really, oh, the Holy Spirit's always there, but man, I just know the Holy Spirit is there with this one. So I did not want to deprive you, viewer, or whoever may watch this months, years from now after I've recorded and uploaded. So um, just bear with me. It's some really good stuff in here. Learning how to pray, good tips. So even though I'm not looking at the camera for a majority of the video and you're just getting the side of my head, um, take what you can from it. Godspeed. Welcome viewer to Iron Sharp Design, where every Monday and Wednesday we are here to help you and that lady at the bakery stay sharp out there. This video is continuing the Let Us Pray series. In this one, we're going to talk about to enter not into temptation. So let us pray to not enter into temptation. Mark 14, 38. Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. In this verse, you get to see two things that I believe are very important. One, Jesus has this awareness of his disciples. He knows that, hey, your spirit is, is, is willing. Like, man, there's people that are on fire for God. Like, hey, I, I just want to do right by God. That's, that's your heart posture. You want to do great things for the Lord. But Jesus, the other thing he knows is your flesh is weak. He knows that if we're not communicating with God, if we don't take that time to diligently seek him, Father, where are you? Father, where are you? I'm going through a situation. This is on my mind. This is what I'm battling. This is what's in front of me. This is my mountain. He knows if we don't go to the Father, if we don't spend time with him, regardless of how um, good our intentions are, regardless of how much well we mean, regardless of um, how, how much we want to do right. If we don't actually execute, if we don't actually pray and ask God to help us, our flesh is going to be the downfall of us. When it comes to praying viewer and speaking a little bit of my own personal testimony, if you are new to the channel, or maybe you've been here a few times and you've seen some of the videos I've posted, but I've been open about my struggle with sexual morality, lust, pornography, masturbation, all those things. Uh, fornicating, like just, I have had a terrible history, a terrible rap sheet of just things I've struggled with. And most of it has, for the for the most part, one of the biggest things I've had to struggle with is sexual morality of like all the sorts, all the different flavors and kinds. And something that is so crucial, so crucial, so important, can't stress this enough. When you find yourself in those moments, and even before you even get to the moment where, man, I, I just know I'm finna mess up tonight. Oh, I just know my mom ain't here. My dad ain't here. Nobody's here to watch me. I got all the Wi-Fi I could ever want. I'm gonna be home alone by myself. This girl is calling me. She say I can come over. Like, we finna do this. Like, all the temptation, all the opportunities is there. And... It really just takes you spending time with God. You just have to, you gotta pray and ask, Lord, help me not enter into temptation. I know the trap cards are gonna be out there. I tell, I'm telling you, viewer, the devil is never going to stop. I, I'm telling you, he's never going to stop. There's never gonna be a period of time where the trap cards just go away. It may not seem as uh, relevant as 
as high as it as it used to be. Again, it could have been a 10, but now it could be a two or one, a zero, maybe it's a five, whatever the case may be, whatever you struggle with. Like it's it's never gonna go away. It's just gonna subside a little. Maybe you don't notice it because you're on fire for God, you're active, you're doing this, you're spending time in prayer, you're doing great things, the Lord is helping you. So, you know, it doesn't seem like that temptation is really there. God told Cain, hey, sin is in the corner crouching, waiting to pounce on you. So you, you gotta be aware, we have to be vigilant. And part of being vigilant is praying beforehand and also praying in the moment. You just ask, you have to ask God. You have to be humble enough to realize, okay, this is a temptation. This is a trap card right here. I'm seeing the way things are laying out. Oh yeah, I've seen this before. Again, all the cues are happening. I know I'm finna fall for this. Whatever you're tempted with, Whatever fill in the blank sin viewer, you want to spend time praying about that specific thing. And I know that's that could be hard, that could be weird, a little tricky, it could be um, a little, you know, discomfort, maybe embarrassment, uh, shame, guilt about all the stuff you did. Dang, Lord, you really want me to ask you about this right here? This thing right here? This this sin right here, Lord, you want me to pray? Uh, like, you know, it, it can make you feel uncomfortable. It could put you at, you know, some type of uh, uneasiness, but that thing is what you should spend some of your time praying on. When you tackle it head on, Father, here's my issue. Help me overcome this. Pray that I don't fall for this. It's been 10 years, Lord. It's, it's been 20 years, Lord. It's been 30 years, Lord. I'm tired of falling for this sin. I've literally been falling for this trap card. The devil played on me Monday through Monday, and I fall for it. He hit me with it every time my birthday come around and I fall for it. He hit me every time fall come around and I fall for it. Like it's, you you know whatever you have to deal with, viewer. So those things, you want to spend time praying for it, praying that you don't fall for it ahead of time. So let me tell you this, viewer. Jesus loved you so much that he knew you were going to be tempted. He knew you were going to go through something in your life where it's causing you to fall on your face, for you to cry, for you to be upset, for you to be at a point in your life where you just feel, you know, I'm a filthy rag. I don't deserve God's love because of what I did, what I've done, what I think and what I'm trying to do next week. Like, I know I shouldn't do this, but Lord, like it just seems like I can't stop. Jesus knew this was going to happen. And what he told Simon is so beautiful. You were listening to this. He told him that, hey, Simon, Simon, the devil, he asked me if he could test you. He asked me if he can put this trap card in your life. The devil asked me if he can um, put this situation on you and where you have to decide, am I going to fall for this again? Is this going to be the 139th time that I say I'm not doing this no more? Or is this going to be the time where I actually stop doing this and move past it? The devil wants to sift you as we. He wants to like literally throw a wrench in there, throw a curveball mix you up like trail mix like he wants to do you dirty he wants to hit you with the crossover that's that's what the devil wants to do in your life jesus said i have prayed for you and not only have i prayed for you but i have faith that when you get tempted when you get sifted as wheat you will overcome it and after you overcome it strengthen your brethren the next time you're tempted with something the next time something happens in your life pray ask god to help you overcome that temptation and in that same that process in that same thought, think about, okay, well, whatever God is allowing me to be tempted, Jesus is praying that I overcome this. And not only is he praying that I will overcome this temptation, but he knows I will overcome it. And once I overcome it, he wants me to help show someone else how to get through it. So whatever you're dealing with, whatever is causing you to fall and stumble and, you know, regret and think, man, I'm, I'm not good enough for God. I'm just jive, whack. I don't deserve his love. I don't deserve his goodness. Whatever those things are, whatever you're tempted with, you can overcome it. You will overcome it. And after you overcome it, help somebody else overcome it. Pray not to enter into temptation. I pray that you learned something from this video viewer. I pray that it helped you and blessed you and that you have some good takeaways. If you did learn something, apply it, share it, and then disciple. And as always, you're too blessed to be stressed viewer. Stay blessed by the best. Don't forget to pray for the rest. And until next time.